Hello everyone, HopH2O here, and this is the final video in this short tutorial series. The links to everything you'll need are in the description of the video, as well as a link to a playlist of all the other videos in this series. And as always, there will be an indicator in the top left over here telling what topic we're currently talking about. So let's get started with the final video, which is sections, star power, G plus features, and finishing up your chart. Doing the quote unquote extra stuff. We've got sections, the section tool is those four green lines in the tools box. You click to place your sections wherever you want. In the box on the bottom left, you name your sections. And whenever you place a section, it'll appear on the bar on the right. So you can kind of get a sense of your, your whole chart. Star power, click and place it wherever you want. Right click to set the length of the phrase. Just know that the exact point where a star power phrase ends, if there's a note on that exact point, it's not going to be part of the star power phrase. You can select a star power phrase just like you can select any notes with the group move tool. You can even select star power phrases and notes at the same time. You now have placed all the sections you want to do. You've placed all the notes you want to place. You've placed all the star power you want to put. Let's now talk about the GH plus features. If you don't know what GH plus is, it's a mod made by Exile Lord for Guitar Hero 3, which added lots of post Guitar Hero 3 features into Guitar Hero 3, like hopo chords or open notes or tap notes. Moonscraper allows you to place all of these. Let's start off with forcing. What that technically means is having either a hopo note forced to be a strum when within the logic of Guitar Hero, it's normally a hopo or vice versa. You have something that's normally a strum in Guitar Hero 3's logic, and you force it to be a hopo. So you just click on the note you'd like to force, or you can group select all of the notes you want to force, and either use the shortcut F, or click on the checkbox. It's the exact same concept with tap notes. You pick the note you want to make a tap note, you click T, or you click the tap box. You'll probably want to make more than one note just a tap note, so you select all the notes you want to make a tap note, and you click tap, and it's as simple as that. The final GH plus feature that really will make an impact on charting is open notes. You simply press six when in the note tool and you'll be able to place open notes. This is for both mouse controls and the keyboard mode. So now we'll go through the checklist. Is my chart in sync? Is it temple mapped? Did I place all the notes correctly? Did I add star power? Did I add sections? Did I add my GH plus features that I want? Once all of those are a yes, it's now time to save your chart and put it into GHTC, GHTCP. So if you're just gonna save it as a dot chart file, which is what Guitar Hero 3 uses, you just click save or save as if you've never saved before and boom, done. If for whatever reason, you're trying to maybe chart for phase shift or you're trying to make like a rock band custom or something, click on this export feature where you can also export as a dot chart, but you just have a few more options like the format as a dot mid, forcing it or not, which will just get rid of all the GH plus features and copying down to the empty difficulties, like everything very self-explanatory. And that should be it. You should now have a complete chart with all the things you want, and you should now be able to play it in your respective rhythm game and be able to share it with the community. I recommend the Rhythm Games Community Discord. I'll link that in the description. Any Guitar Hero streamers that you know of probably have a Discord where you can place that in. You can just upload them as YouTube videos. You can upload them to Google Drive. As always, if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. If there, are, if there are lots of similar questions about specific things, I might make a fifth FAQ video just discussing that. But if not, that is it. Thank you for watching. Happy charting. I'm Hop H2O, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.